Day five, the invitation. Let's go. The invitation was released in 2015. And in this film, a man accepts an invitation to a dinner party hosted by his ex-wife, an unsettling affair that reopens old wounds and creates new tensions. Again, I must preface, no hyperboles, no exaggeratives. I don't know what drew me to this film or what caused me to watch it. Maybe Logan Marshall Green, which has just blown me away performance after performance, but he shines in this. And this may be my favorite thriller ever. And I know that's against some stiff competition, but hear me out. This film introduced me to Logan Marshall Green, who I later saw in Upgrade, a Blumhouse film. Fantastic. Uh, it also introduced me to Karen Kusama, who is top two female directors right now. Her and uh, her and Jennifer Kent. But to piggyback off of what I've said about Lotion Margle Green, Lotion Margle Green, what the fuck is that? Logan Marshall Green. His performance in this made me hold my breath for what feels like every second that he was on screen. And the context of those scenes also helped. There's a level of uncertainty and anxiety that kind of hit you over the head. And you keep expecting something to happen, but it just builds and builds and builds until it's pretty much suffocating. What this film also does well for being a thriller is it takes time to develop the setting to develop certain characters who are more influential to the story than others. Uh, it provides this false sense of security because you're in someone's home and they're being very welcoming and friendly and you get this warm comforting feeling. So you put your guard down. But this film takes the typical dinner party trope and it mixes it in with a lot of anxiety, paranoia, tension, horror, I mean, even gaslighting at certain points. There's a lot of relationships on different levels as well between the majority of the characters in this film and old wounds with some mixed with fresh wounds with other members of the party and everything's just laid out in the open for the rest of the party to experience and indulge in. And it builds in such a perfect way that when hell breaks loose in the third act, and it does, it does. You will more than understand the stakes that have been building since the beginning. Uh, fortunately, if you haven't seen this movie and you wanna check it out, uh, it is free on Prime, it's free on Tubi, and it's also free on Peacock. So if you are subscribed to any of those, check them out. I think if you don't pay for the premium Peacock subscription, there's commercials on that. Just warning you. But that'll about do it for day five. I'll see y'all back here tomorrow for day six. Peace.